Okay, Brandon, I'm going to point out a couple other things, um, and I'm going to go all the way to how you finish. Okay, so our goal as we throw is to get our hips ahead of our shoulders as much as possible. So when we look at front foot strike right now, okay, well, right there, okay, your hip, your back hip and back shoulder have moved forward at the same time. So there's very little separation. Okay, so back hip is going to turn, 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 turn. That's where your back hip gets fully turned. Okay, so you had all that rotation happening after your front foot hit the ground, and we want to get that to happen before. So what I'm trying to do is the, the drills that we were doing today was to promote this to happen earlier, meaning we get our hips turned faster by making them open up later. So it's, it's, it's tough to understand, um, and that can be frustrating. So we have very little hip turn before front foot strike. A lot of it is because we don't make our hips turn fast, right? So it starts turning here, and they don't get turned until all the way into this position right here, okay? So I want to, so being that all that rotation happened after front foot strike, okay, that was rotating around your front leg, watch the follow through. You're going to swing your right leg around and fall left, boom. And that happens because that all that momentum was after front foot strike. So if you get that before front foot strike, that's when you see guys really getting out in front and following through forward versus off to the side. Now, that's not a true tell, but typically when you see this, that's what's happening. We just don't see the hips turn before our front foot hits the ground. So let me see if I can, uh, I can't compare with this one. So I'll try to throw up another video where you're next to somebody that's, that's doing it. Um, so back to what I talked about in the last video, the goal right now is that the reason why I'm having you start like this is so your hips are turned away from your target and they stay turned away from your target as you travel forward. So the goal is to hold this position with your hips. And right away, look at your front foot open up. So you, this is, your hips are square to us right now. Your hips are facing us where I want them to be turned away from where you're going for a longer period of time because, one second here, we look at this angle, this is, this is straight up and down. Okay, and, and that, is not beneficial for us once we get down the mound we need to have is right there you're opening up you're opening up your front leg already okay so you're not you're not able to drive very much because you're so up and down so up and down is good for a vertical athlete like a basketball player but we're a linear athlete so we need to go out to create more um to create better angles for ourselves. Okay, so we get into this position. Now watch your back leg. This is where it's gonna extend from. It's gonna, this is where you're trying to drive from. Right there. So that's where you tried to drive from. Look at that position that your back leg is in. Okay, and I'll show you another video of somebody else. Um, and, and you'll be able to see where they're driving from. So that's where you're driving from. This is, notice now. Your body's waiting for this to be in a more linear angle, right? So this is where you are trying to drive from, but we just see that that's not a very good position to be in. So I understand today was a frustrating session, um, and I'm just trying to get you to understand how our body works. And like I said, what's going on up here? Awesome, okay? Okay. Every, this will feel so much better once you're once we get your legs involved okay so like i said i'll try to post another one comparing you to somebody else who does have that hip and shoulder separation who does get their hips to travel down the mound farther before they open up um, if not pastime athletics is a phenomenal youtube site so 
go ahead and check that out when you got some time. I will see you in a couple weeks. Thanks, Brandon.